folks, we've got an unboxing for you again today. It's the iFly robot. And that's what he or she looks like, close up. Hand sensor, collect them all. I think miniature things. design for indoor play. Sounds like fun. So the brand is Braha. It's as infrared sensor hover technology, so it should hover above your hand. How likely do you think it is that I it's going to be think, able to function think, like that? I think that? that will be okay. I mean, the, the distance from the hand is going to control the speed of the... Uh, look like you've got two um, propellers counter-rotating speed of those and, uh, and can therefore control its uh, height. USB charger included. Charging time is 30 minutes and it has LED lights. It flies for up to 10 minutes. So we've got him plugged into the charger with the provided USB and we've just got to wait 30 minutes now for him to charge up. So it's fully charged now, the little red light went off and so we're going to switch on and, and see what it does. <laughs> it looks good. That's causing a draft. All you can see is your hand as your hand gets close to the feet. It flashes. It flashes and it increases the speed of the propellers. Interesting. Shall I let it go? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> so we decided to take it outside because uh, you do seem to need to have a bit of space, it says for indoor use, but it did tend to keep crashing into things and then it switches off when it crashes into something. So we took it outside and it was a lot better there. So to start off with, we uh, just let it fly around the garden uh, without sort of putting our hand underneath it just to see what it would do and it tended to bounce around like this Don't go in the pond! Don't go in the pond! <laughs> and then we tried a bit of hand control and it was pretty good So folks, before we give you our verdict on the iFly robot, we've got one last thing to cover in this video, which is putting some fresh batteries in these two snakes. Uh, because we, when we unboxed these the other day, we only had rubbish batteries in and this poor snake was, was going at a snail's pace. So we've got some new Duracell delivered, so we'll pop those in and we'll see what they like. So we've got the batteries in both of them now. They're going. Oh! oh! This one's going in a bit longer. The green one's a lot better with the uh, top notch batteries in. <laughs> so, first of 
first of all a verdict on the two snakes now i want to say something first and that's that with both snakes uh, what spoils the fun with them is that when as soon as they come to a corner they just stop they get stuck so uh, we were saying could you really could do with a circular pen mm. which is a project for the future folks we uh we will do that in the future and then see how they move in a circular pen so just talking about the green and gray snake what would you like to say about this one paul oh this is the kit one isn't it mm -hmm. uh, you had good fun um, building this up um so it's great that it's a kit. Uh, it it what well, the one thing we noticed though that on, on the box it talked about uh, the uh, reduction gears and the piston yeah, action and, and and but unfortunately all this is in the head and the head all hidden preassembled. So and it, it's all hidden and it's preassembled. Mm. And we said that what we thought might have been better, I think, uh, is if it was clear plastic mm, this was on, clear the underneath. On, on, on the underneath so you could see so you could yeah. see you know you mm -hmm. can read about how it works but then actually watch it as or well even, even better from my point of view if the head uh, was something that you assembled yourself and put the gears in and the piston action in like but a car then kit. but then it they'll be aiming for an age, old age yeah, perhaps group. yeah 12 plus then yeah. but to put the clear plastic in the bottom mm. I really think they should have done that scene as they I think were trying so. to make yeah. it educational and they were talking about how it worked. Yeah. I mean, to be quite honest with you, I think if I was a kid and I had that, I'd do exactly what I've done as an adult <laughs> and just not even looked at it. You well, know, I, the part I, the part in the manual talking yeah, about yeah. how it worked, I didn't even look mm. at it. Or what I would have done if I was a kid, I would have taken the head apart. <laughs> you would have, wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's that's a slight downside of it being um, the, the kit for. I mean, you you enjoy putting all this together. I did enjoy putting that together, but that's because like mm. I never put things together. I leave every everything that's got any construction to it. You do so. It was nice that I could actually met you, know, even though it's for an eight year old. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was still nice to be able to follow the instructions and put that together. But at the same time. It would have been nice putting a bit more together. Yes, it would have been, yeah. You know, not necessarily all the gears and things, but mm -hmm. something in the head. Yeah. I think it could have done with a bit more construction. I think so, yeah. Uh, another thing I would say about the green and grey snake is I don't think it's brilliant at moving along the floor. No, it's nowhere near as good as the zero one, is it? For one thing, I think you said it's it seems to be underpowered. Well, the motor seems to be underpowered, yeah. And then another thing I noticed was it had a tendency to kind of topple to one side mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then get stuck on mm -hmm. these. That's right. The, so I don't think that the shape of the head is a very good de design. No, it's not. Mm. So that's my thoughts on the snake. Um, limited construction in mm -hmm. it. The, what The construction that is in it was nice and was very clear and was very easy yes, to follow. Yes, it was, yes. It does actually work, um, but it's not that impressive. It could be a lot impressive. better, it could be a yeah. lot better, couldn't it? And we do think that you should have had a, something where you could actually, you know, see, see inside, see inside or did works. a little bit of yeah. construction. Because, yeah. uh, you know, just writing about it in the manual, a kid's not going to look at that, I don't think, anyway. So the Zuru snake, I was pretty impressed with this yes, actually. It, it moves, it looks good. It moves very well. Mm. It's and quick it's as well. Quick. It, 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 it's not underpowered at all. Mm. Um, they're both good quality plastic kits. Uh, sorry, this is a well, plastic a kit, kit, isn't it? Um, but they're both good quality plastic toys. Mm. But I think the, a kid would enjoy using I think the so. yeah. Zuru one a lot more mm -hmm. myself mm -hmm. it's just more impressive yeah and so finally what about our little robot the flying robot oh this was a lot of fun wasn't it in it i think that was only i can't remember exactly how much it was but i think it was only about seven pounds yeah, it yeah. was a, a very cheap toy mm -hmm. and i was quite impressed with the functionality 
you know, once you... you um, oh, the, the infrared sensors yeah. on the bottom. They yeah. work very well, don't they? Yeah. Mm. You get a decent amount of playtime out of it for quite a short charge as well. 30 minutes charge up to 10 minutes play, yes. That, that's a good ratio, isn't it? Is, it? yeah. One thing uh, I'll say about it as well um, is that it's tough. These blades... Yeah, it, I mean, it, it was sort It's of... crashed numerous times mm -hmm. into trees and furniture and the blades of... It, uh, there's a seems to be some sort of circuitry in it which senses it and turns it off. Yeah, that's good. It is, yeah. Uh, and the blades survived the impact uh, very well indeed, and it's still working. Mm. The one drawback I would say about this is it says um, it's like for indoor use. It's mm -hmm. made for indoor mm -hmm. use, but I think it's pretty. You need a big impossible a biggish room. <laughs> to, yeah, you would need a big, very big room mm. and a very empty room. Mm -hmm. You know, a room with no furniture yeah, in. Yeah. So But it doesn't matter if it crashes. It's but it's it's you can't really enjoy it the same, I think, in a room, in a house, as you can in a garden. Well, I don't know. I'm not disagree with that. Oh, do you? Yeah, I, I mean, it doesn't damage the furniture. It doesn't break it itself when it impacts the furniture. And it, it gives a bit of sort of a bit of a thrill. Is it going to crash into this? Is it going to crash into that? I'm trying to use but your hands. But I suppose to... I just don't like things crashing. Right, OK. So it all depends if you like things crashing. Yeah. Certainly, <laughs> yeah. I mean, indoors, it was more stable. Outdoors, if there's a yeah, lightest there breeze. Yeah, was that. That's a good point. If the lightest breeze would, would blow would, it off course, would blow that's, it. It wouldn't that's simply go up true. and down. It would drift, would drift quite but quickly I, towards the bushes. But actually, I found that made it a bit more interesting. Because right. <laughs> you didn't know what it was going to do next. But a good quality toy. And yeah, a, a very good and price, a very good I'd say. Price. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So that wraps it up for this video, folks. Hope you found that entertaining and useful. Thanks for watching, as always. And see you next time.